decided to do some carrots today but we're not doing any ordinary carrot we're doing Paris Market and these particular carrots grow into balls about the size of a golf ball rather than a long root system and so because of that we can grow them in shallow containers and obviously normally you wouldn't be able to do that but what I also thought is when we do sow carrots they always have to be sown direct you can't grow them in these little packs and then transplant them out at a later date because they're growing a tap root below surface and that gets long really quick and then it will start to spiral even when the plant on the top is only a couple of centimeters tall the tap root below could be six inches and once it starts spiraling that leads to you getting deformed carrots and forked carrots and that's why you can never start them in packs to transplant later but because these grow more like a beetroot than a regular carrot I think we'll be perfectly fine to start them off in packs indoors to get a jump on season and then transplant them into containers later on. So I've got some of these trees, not very big, but carrot seeds are very tiny. But these ones are also quite deep. And I think they'll be perfect for starting off some carrots for the first time. So we're gonna do a few of these and then we're gonna take them indoors to bring them on where it's a bit warmer. Because in case you didn't know, this coming week, temperatures are going to drop down to minus three. So just for heads up, make sure that you've got your fleece over at tops or all your plants for that bit of protection. And because I get these packs from Premier Seeds and they cost me like a pound, you get 7,000 seeds in there. So it doesn't hurt to experiment with a few. So we'll get a couple of these packs filled and then we'll get some seeds some. So I'm only going to lightly compact this. Normally we would really compact it down to get lots of compost in. But there is a little bit of a root on these carrots. So we'll just lightly press it down and then top it back off. So because these carrot seeds are really tiny, I'm just going to make a very shallow dent in these cells. Carrot seeds are probably the smallest ones you'll come across. So we don't want to bury them too deep. I think that'll be fine. So we'll get some of these seeds out. And as we said, very tiny seeds. So what I'm going to do is pop a couple in each cell. So hopefully we'll get at least one growing. And then if we want to grow them as just individual carrots, we could just thin them out, keep it bigger seedling. Or we could try growing them multi sown like we do beetroots and see if they grow all right together in a bunch and push each other apart as they grow. So maybe we'll do a tray of each. Very difficult just to drop a couple of seeds into a cell, especially when it comes to carrots. And then obviously we're going to need to really lightly cover them. Just enough to see that those seeds have disappeared. So we're just going to use this colander to give them a really light dusting of compost. And that should do. Just run over the top of that just to be sure we have covered everything. And as these grow, what we'll do is we'll bottom water them because the seedlings are quite delicate. So that'll be pretty quick and easy job. And it's going to be an interesting experiment because if we can grow them like this and successfully transplant them at a later date, then we could have lots and lots of carrots started early. And it doesn't matter that they're not long carrots 
because they're still going to grow to a good round size. So we can half or quarter those and pop them into stews without the need to peel them as well. A quick scrub will be enough. And we'll do a couple more so we can experiment by thinning some out so there's only one carrot per cell and then others will leave two or three in there growing together multi cell and see if they do grow like beetroots do. So I'll get these watered and we'll get a label put in. I've also got some of these trays. Can't remember where I got them from, but I've had them quite a while. And I've got quite a few of them. And you can see they're quite a good depth and size. And they've got lots of nice holes in the bottom. And because once again these carrots are quite shallow growing carrots, we can grow them in something like that. They don't even need that much depth. This tray's got plenty of depth for something that grows to the size of a golf ball. So apart from doing those trays to experiment with for transplanting on at a later date, we'll also direct sow some into here to stay in until they reach maturity and see how these work out as well. And because we haven't got to worry about a long tap root, we can use a bit of this waste compost, which is what's left over after we've sieved as compost. And it's a bit lumpier, but it's gonna sit across the bottom so it won't matter too much and it will also give better drainage. So we'll just pop this in the bottom of this container and just even it out a little bit and then we'll top it back up with some good stuff. And once again I'm just gonna lightly drop it in. I don't really want to be compacting it down even for these type of carrots because we want them to grow into a ball and be able to easily expand. And I'm not gonna completely fill it to the top either. So I really don't think that they're gonna need it. I'm just gonna lightly spread this compost out. I'm trying to get it even all the way around at the same time. We want all these seeds, because they're so tiny, to be sat on one level. And just to finish off, I'm just lightly tapping this down to make a completely even bed. I'm not pressing on it, I'm just letting it drop onto the top of that compost so everything becomes perfectly even. And if you want to try some of these seeds yourself, they are called Parisian or Paris Market. So that's the variety you need to be looking for. So we'll get a few of those and then we're basically just going to direct sow trying to leave a gap as much as we can between seeds. So we don't want to overseed this tree. We just want to know that we've got enough in there. And obviously, as we're regular carrots, we can always thin them out if we need to later. We'll just make sure we've got nice covering the seeds in this area. And that's plenty. And then once again with that light covering. And because carrot seeds are really light coloured, you can easily see them on top of your compost. So if you choose to do it like this, to just cover those seeds, you can quite easily see them disappearing. And then you know they've been covered properly. While at the same time making sure they've not been buried deep. So there we go, very light covering. There's no stones or anything in this compost that could cause any problems with such tiny seeds. And now we just need to wait for these to germinate and see if we need to thin them out, which I'm quite sure we'll have to. But more importantly, can we grow these round carrots in a little shallow tray like this successfully? And if you're interested in seeing how these turn out and the multi song ones that we've just done, then please, Hit that subscribe button and press that notifications bell and we'll see you on the next update. Take care.